Did you know you can now wake up Bixby with a custom word of your choice? Samsung's latest Galaxy S25 series introduces an exciting feature that lets users personalize their voice assistant like never before. With this update, you are no longer limited to the default wake up phrases. Instead, you can choose any word or phrase to summon Bixby, making interactions more natural and unique to your style. When Samsung launched the Galaxy S25, a lot of attention was given to Google Gemini and its advanced AI capabilities. Many people assumed that Bixby would take a backseat, but that's not the case. Samsung has quietly improved its in-house voice assistant, giving it a major upgrade that enhances user experience. The ability to create a custom wake-up phrase is one of the biggest changes, making Bixby more flexible and engaging. Instead of always saying Bixby or Hi Bixby, you can now personalize it with a phrase that feels more natural or fun to you. Whether it's a nickname, a unique command, or something completely unexpected, you get to decide how to wake up your voice assistant. However, there's one thing to keep in mind. While this customization adds a fun and personal touch, the device may not recognize custom wake-up words as accurately as the default ones. The built-in wake phrases Bixby and Hi Bixby are optimized for high accuracy. On the other hand, a completely new phrase might take some time for the system to learn. If the device struggles to recognize your chosen phrase, you may need to train it multiple times for better accuracy. Despite this minor drawback, having the ability to choose your own wake-up word is a welcome change for those who want more control over their interactions with Bixby. Setting up a custom wake-up word is a straightforward process. First, open the settings on your Galaxy S25 and navigate to the Advanced Features section. From there, select Bixby and go to the Labs section where you will find the option to create a wake-up phrase. After enabling it, go back and select the voice wake-up option. Inside this menu, tap on the Create Wake-up Phrase Labs feature, which will guide you through the process. You will be asked to say your desired wake-up word once, then repeat it five more times to ensure the device properly recognizes it. Once you complete this step, your custom wake-up phrase will be saved and Bixby will respond to it whenever you say it. However, Samsung has placed certain restrictions on what phrases you can use, you won't be able to set wake-up words that are already associated with other voice assistants like Hey Google, Alexa, or Siri. This prevents confusion and ensures that different voice assistants remain distinct. Additionally, Samsung provides an extra layer of privacy by allowing users to delete the audio recordings that were used to train the custom wake-up phrase. If at any point you decide you no longer want to use a custom phrase, you can remove it and revert to the default wake words. This update makes Bixby more user-friendly and customizable, which is great news for Samsung users who prefer a more tailored experience. Whether you want a practical wake-up phrase or something fun and creative, this new feature gives you the freedom to personalize how you interact with your device. If you own a Galaxy S25, it's definitely worth trying out to see how well it works for you. If you found this information useful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates on the latest Samsung features. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. The Samsung Galaxy S25 series has finally arrived and as expected, excitement is at an all time high. However, not long after users got their hands on the device, reports of a major issue started surfacing, overheating. While new smartphones often experience some level of heat during initial setup, this problem seems to go beyond the usual warming. Many users are already expressing concerns, questioning whether Samsung's latest flagship has a serious flaw that needs immediate attention. One of the biggest selling points of the Galaxy S25 series was its powerful Snapdragon 8 Elite processor, which promised a significant performance boost of around 40% compared to the previous Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. With such a leap in processing power, some level of heat was expected. Samsung tried to counter this by incorporating a vapor chamber that is 40% larger, aiming to manage thermal performance more effectively. Unfortunately, despite these efforts, it appears that overheating is still a concern particularly for the standard Galaxy S25 model. The Ultra variant, on the other hand, seems to handle heat slightly better, but it is not completely immune to the issue. Users who have started testing their devices under different conditions are reporting that their phones heat up, even during simple tasks like scrolling through social media, watching videos, or sending messages. The problem worsens when charging, with some people mentioning that the heat is noticeable even through a protective case. A few individuals have even described the device as uncomfortably hot to hold, raising concerns about long-term usability. Many have taken to online forums to share their frustrations, and some are already considering returning their phones if Samsung does not provide a fix soon. A discussion on Reddit revealed that multiple users are experiencing excessive heating. One person noted that their Galaxy S25 became extremely warm during normal usage and even worse while charging. Another user replied that their device felt too hot to the touch, despite not playing games or running demanding applications. 
Someone else mentioned that after just a few minutes of use, their phone was almost burning their hands. This has left many customers frustrated, especially those who upgraded from the Galaxy S24 series, which also had similar heat management concerns. However, there are users who claim that their phones are performing fine without excessive heating. Some argue that new devices typically run hotter in the first few days as background processes complete and settings are optimized. While this is a common occurrence, the number of people still reporting overheating even after several days of use suggests that the issue may not be limited to the initial setup phase. With such mixed experiences, it remains unclear whether this is a widespread hardware issue, a software-related bug, or simply a case of inconsistent thermal management across different units. During early reviews, the Galaxy S25 series did not show any major overheating problems, making these recent complaints even more surprising. If this turns out to be a software-related issue, Samsung might be able to fix it with an update in the coming weeks. However, if it is a hardware limitation, affected users might have to rely on external solutions like adjusting settings, limiting high-performance tasks, or even considering a replacement. Until Samsung officially addresses these reports, many users are left wondering whether they should hold on to their new phones or return them while they still can. Are we finally on the verge of the official One UI 7 release? For the past few months, Samsung users have been eagerly waiting for the next big software update, but only Galaxy S24 series owners have had access to the beta version. Meanwhile, millions of other users have been stuck on Android 14 with One UI 6.1, watching from the sidelines, but the long wait might be ending very soon. Samsung has not officially announced an exact release date, but several signs indicate that the update could arrive in the next few days. One of the biggest clues comes from the upcoming launch of the Galaxy S25 series. These new flagship devices will ship with One UI 7 pre-installed, and they are set to go on sale worldwide on February 7. It is highly likely that Samsung has been holding back the stable One UI 7 release to avoid shifting attention away from the Galaxy S25 series launch. Once the new devices are in the hands of consumers, Samsung might finally roll out the update for other eligible Galaxy smartphones. Another major hint is the stability of the latest One UI 7 beta for the Galaxy S24 lineup. The final beta versions are performing smoothly, which suggests that Samsung has completed most of the testing and fine-tuning required before making the update available to everyone. Additionally, there have been reports claiming that Samsung plans to begin the rollout in the first half of February. If these leaks are accurate, then users might not have to wait much longer. One UI 7 is one of the biggest updates Samsung has released in recent years. It brings significant improvements in speed, security, and overall usability. While Samsung has yet to provide a full list of changes, the beta versions have already given us a preview of what to expect. Users can look forward to a smoother interface, new customization options, and several performance optimizations designed to make devices feel more responsive. However, not all features will be available for every device. The Galaxy S25 series will come with some exclusive features that won't be included in the update for older models. Two of the standout additions are Now Brief and Audio Eraser. Now Brief is a smarter notification system that helps users manage alerts more efficiently, while Audio Eraser is a powerful tool that allows users to remove background noise from recordings. These features will be exclusive to the Galaxy S25 lineup, meaning they won't be available for the Galaxy S24 series or other older Galaxy devices. If you own the Galaxy smartphone and have been eagerly waiting for One UI 7, now is the time to stay alert. Samsung may begin pushing out the update any day now. When the rollout begins, users will likely receive a notification prompting them to download and install the update. However, as with all major software releases, the update will probably be released in phases. This means that while some users might receive it immediately, others may have to wait a little longer depending on their device model and region. To check if your device is eligible for One UI 7, go to your phone's settings, navigate to software update, and tap download and install. If the update is available for your device, you will see an option to download it. If not, don't worry. Samsung usually rolls out updates gradually, so keep checking regularly. With One UI 7, Samsung is bringing a more refined and polished experience to its users. Whether it's the improved performance, enhanced security, or new software features, this update is set to make a noticeable difference in everyday use. While it has taken longer than expected, it's clear that Samsung has been working hard to deliver a stable and feature-rich update. If you found this update helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more news on the latest technology. Stay tuned and we'll catch